Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, you'll maybe notice that uh, I got a new bookshelf. My other one was getting pretty full, so I went and got a new one and kind of reset up the uh, the studio, if you will. Um, and so yeah, now I just have to read a bunch of books and fill it all up. But anyway, um, why I'm here today is to talk about another book. I got another book review for you guys. So um, today I'm talking about Piranesi by Susanna Clarke. I really, really enjoyed this book. This was really, really good. This was the first novel of hers that I've read. I know she has one other novel and then like a collection of short stories, which after reading this, that book, uh, it's called Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, has uh, jumped the list quite a few. Um, I probably, I might get to it before the end of the year, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I really, I'm, I'm really interested in reading more of her stuff. Now again, with Piranesi, I really liked this. Um, but, because of the way this book is told, uh, the less you know, kind of the better. So I'm not going to talk too much about specifics. In fact, I'm probably not going to talk about anything that really happens in the book too much. Suffice it to say that it's a very um, fun little, like, kind of mystery where you're trying to figure out what's going on, um, and it pretty much grabs you right from the beginning, and the whole time I was reading it, I was curiouser and curiouser about what was going on, what was real and what wasn't, and all of this stuff. <clears throat> now, Piranesi is about this guy his name's Piranesi. He basically, he lives his existence in this endless hallway. He calls it the house. And um, there are, you know, endless rooms that he explores. And he considers himself a scientist. So he writes down the things that he finds in these various rooms. And according to him, he's always lived there. He has no memories of anything that happened before the house. Um, and so he's just trying to figure out the world, and the world is this, this place that he lives. Um, every so often, the tides come in, and the tides go out. They flood various uh, sections of the, of the house, and so he has to track those, and he has to make sure that he's in a safe place. Um, and he's pretty much by himself there. There's no one else around. There are bones of of previous people maybe that were uh, in the house um, and so yeah he's pretty much by himself there's one other person he calls him the other that he meets once a week to um, report his his findings and um, and then the other gives him little assignments or whatever um, and that's as far as I'm gonna go the thing that makes this book so great is, like I said, this mystery. You're you're dumped into this thing, into this into this story about this guy, and um, you're trying to figure out what's going on, right? And it's set up pretty much from the beginning that um, Piranesi is 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 an unreliable narrator. We can't believe everything he says, because, and that's not because he's lying to us necessarily. It's just that he doesn't understand the world that he lives in. He doesn't understand really anything, so he misinterprets things, um, and he is also lied to. The other, you find out pretty quickly that he that something's not. I, I you don't really trust the other um, very much, and so this whole time you're trying to figure out, you know, like what's going on, who's who, what to believe and what not to believe, and the, as the mystery unfolds. Um, it's just a really great experience. I, I love Susanna Clarke's uh, style. It's very, like, whimsical and innocent feeling. Piranesi is, um, like, naive, uh, but also just, like, good-hearted and just, like, a really good person. And so he likes to see the better in everybody. Um, you know, like, like I was saying, like, the other kind of lies to him and like whatever uh but he doesn't he doesn't like notice that even though it's pretty obvious he he sees the best in people and it's kind of to his detriment maybe sometimes but um he's just it's just it's just a really really great book it's really fun and 
it'll keep you it'll keep you guessing all the way until like the very end when you finally kind of figure out what the heck is going on. Um, so I highly recommend it. I think I gave it five stars on Goodreads. Um, like I said, I'm gonna read Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell at some point here soon because I read I just really want to read more of her stuff, and I've heard that that book is similar in tone and stuff like that. So. Um, again, though, that's a book that I have, n I have no idea what it's even about, really. So if you've read that, please let me know in the comments what you thought, without spoiling anything. When I get to that book, I will, you know, talk about it on the channel or whatever. So, um, anyway, that's all I have. I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. So, um, please like and subscribe if you want to see more content. Um, and, um, you know, let me know if you've read this book. Let me know what you thought. That's all I have today. Um, so... Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.